This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, A2, A1. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Mr. J? <laughs> yeah, Mr. J, what can I say? It's me, Holy Quinn. Out my back, Nina Quinn. Holy sister from down the block. No, not next to Jenny, from Jenny from the block. Yeah, what can I say, Mr. J? I'm dating the Joker now. Yes, he left holy for me. Nina Quinn, what can I say? You want to fight about it? What do you do? I'm not crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's me. Nina, Bonina, Banana, Bavana, Osama, Bilal, Harley Quinn Brown. And we are back for another Raw View. Welcome back to my channel, Piggies. Y'all know how we do it here. Y'all know how we do. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we are late for this Raw View because those of y'all that been following me, y'all know. I took my locks out and by I mean like I combed them out. I combed each toilet out. You know the lyrics to Selena song? Comb out my toilets. I combed out each toilet as she told me to do. That took me three days. So if anybody has locks and you're thinking about maybe getting rid of them, don't comb them out. <laughs> Just cut them off. It was a hassle and a heartache and a headache. And I am so late doing everything. And I don't even know when it's gonna be posted, but I'm recording. I, I literally did another video today. My Beyonce country Carter thing. Review and drag, another look. And now here I am in another look that I've been wanting to do, that I tried to do the other Raw View, but it wasn't coming out right. But now look, hon, she is giving. She's giving you something. Ew. But yeah, so. Sorry about all the lateness, but I'm sure y'all understand. And then I have another look to do, maybe today, because I'm saying today because it's now 3 a.m. Yes, it's late. And I suppose they have done the Easter look. And that's late now. It's not even Easter anymore. <laughs> you know, I honestly, sorry, excuse me. I honestly probably have, should not have even gotten drag for this look because I'm just so behind. But I wanted to get this look out of my system. I got it out of my system, so yes. I'm gonna try to read some comments, you know what I normally do, but I want, I really want this Robbie to be kind of fast, so sorry about it. Try to do a jam with Pierre, and as always, if y'all would like the tip, you know, I read all the tip of information, the tip of information in the season 16 video. So thank you in advance for everybody that looks out for me and tips me. Make sure you like, if you like the video, like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, and then get to the show. I haven't been spoiled. People try spoiling it on my live videos, but I kind of just missed it and I didn't really see it. So I'm like, eh, whatever. So for me, it's still a surprise. So yeah, let's go ahead and let me see. Let me see, do I even want to read these comments? It's already late, but maybe I can do it really fast. Let's see. So when I did that crazy video of the TikTok thing, somebody says, not Nina serving non-binary Pikachu in the beginning. <laughs> Oh, this is in regards to the comedy thing. I feel like the reason they don't have a live audience is so they can laugh at who they want without the audience laughing, messing up who they want to be in the top and the bottom. That could be true, or maybe they just didn't want to pay an audience, but that could be true. I don't know if you use TikTok a lot, but I've seen a lot of videos of your raw views being posted around and people were finally supporting you. Oh, I see my videos being shared and they get all these views and I post it, it gets nothing. <laughs> but as long as they're posting it in a positive way, 
I'm I'm okay with it. Oh, this mini, oh, I guess, whatever that mini challenge was, they said this mini challenge confirmed the theory, my theory, that Drag Race is changing to cater towards their two young fans, like 10 to 14. Girl, they've been doing it. They said, oh, people who? <laughs> you can tell by the comment sections. Oh, about the Uno thing. It says, hey, Pierce, the same for me about Uno app. But what I've noticed is that the first two or three rounds that I play are usually with bots. They want me to win so I can have money and later on, play with, yeah. I told you that, yeah, they'll, they'll give you pity wins and it'd be like the most lowest coins you win. Like you will lose like 500 coins, but then you'll, you'll win 80 coins. And it's like, they do that just so, you, just so that it seems real and fair. And then once you make enough coins again, then they find a way for you to lose all the time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bull. I don't really, I'm gonna sue them. <laughs> I'm serious. About TikTok, I understand if it gets banned, there are, I understand if it gets banned, but there are a lot of smaller creators, like you said, that deserve the attention more than those big famous clips. And TikTok may be the only platform to get easy likes to get them to grow. The negativity on the app is very obvious and sadly common. For example, I put a lot of effort in cosplay and video, and I genuinely felt happy, comfortable in that cosplay, and had a lot of fun filming the video. The comments, on the other hand, were only hate comments. In the video, you mentioned a comment that said that TikTok comments should be gone or be able to turn off, and that would be a great, yeah. I know, you'd be so happy about something that you do, and people just tear it apart. Welcome to America. Someone says, the UK girls really do love an uncut lace front. Guess that's why most UK men are uncut as well. Cheese emojis. <laughs> Someone says, the queens showing love to Nita on podcast means nothing if they don't show it to her directly. Also, I played that Mobile Uno 2, and I never noticed that. Wow, I never actually spent money on it, but I'm sure there are unfortunately more gullible people who have. Yes, it's, which is why they keep doing it, but I'm not gullible. I know what y'all doing. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I have a seventh sense. I was like, blocking AI bots? This is a new level of low. Blocking is Nina's addiction. <laughs> That's not low. I am blocking all those Uno bots, and they can keep creating them they want to, but I'm going to block each one of them. <laughs> Their names are so stupid too. Bubble Pops, Angel Cries, Honey Dream. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> At least make the name seem real. I can't. Oh, when we were saying like, when could the internet have stopped? Someone said the internet te technology should have paused when you had to sit at a computer desk and before smartphones were invented. Give me back my Razor Flip phone. I guess so. It wasn't as crazy as it is now. Maybe that could have been the time to stop it, I guess. Oh, this is in regards to who? Nina, one of your biggest fans. Y'all always say that, but I never see y'all. <laughs> no, but question, who do you think will win and who do you think should win? Well, we're gonna find out in a few. I, I don't think, I, I, I'm not thinking about it, about who should win and what should win. You know, I don't really get that deep into it like that. Um, but I'm quite sure a lot of y'all want Marina to win or LeBron, so we'll see. Oh, what the funk thinks about this. Okay, but what if Pierre marries a guy named Danny that says stuff like, we're gonna have a funk old time. <laughs> you were just asking to get blocked. Like, you just had to make, think, even my drawed on Harley Quinn nostrils just flared just now. Wait, did I say that earlier? This look is Harley Quinn, my version of Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that. Oh, so this is gonna be a quick jam with Pierre because this look just gives me like rave. Like I feel like I'm at a rave. Like this is gonna be rave. I wanna go to a rave. I've been to one years ago in Atlanta somewhere. It was like underground somewhere. And it was like kind of cool. Cause like, I feel like in a rave, nobody's like straight or gay. Everybody was just like into whatever. <laughs> That's what it seems like. And I'm like, I want to go again because you could just easily just be a whore and nobody cares. Especially if I was dressed like this. Girl, those men would be all over me. <laughs> and they wouldn't know what I'm hiding under my skirt. <laughs> so I secretly, publicly want to go again. But anyway, this song, because I'm in my video game, we were listening to all these songs yesterday on live, all these video game songs. So I'm gonna have a lot of like video game jammings, but. This is from one of my favorite games back in the day on Nintendo 64 and especially the arcade, but it came to console in 64. It was Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct Gold was my favorite one with Orchid and all of them. And I love that game so much, like so much. I live 
what a time, what a time. I wish Microsoft never bought Killer Instinct and that Nintendo would have been smart and kept it. Like, that was their only fighting game. And it was an awesome game. Or gave it to PlayStation, at least. But anyway, this is Orchid's theme featuring Faye. Featuring Faye. I can't, I can't see the name. But anyway, it's called Vintage Score. Here we go. When a song is starting off like this, you know it's getting ready to go into some kind of funky music and dancing. So this is honestly for all my white gays with big teeth and thin lips. Go in your bathroom. I know y'all don't keep lotion or that because y'all don't think y'all need lotion. But I don't know, get some kind of like cream and put it on your put it on your on your fist pumping hand and go get a nice bottle of lube. No, sorry, poppers, and get ready to sniff and fist pump, because it's that kind of song. It's kind of bathhouse, but I can deal with it. Ow! Ow! Girl, let me sniff my poppers, child. Like, no, for all, I'm telling you, this is actual music they had while you were fighting. <laughs> you youngins, y'all missed out for real. Like, Killer Instinct was up there with Mortal Kombat and stuff. If not, probably better than some of them. At one point, it really was. It's pretty much the same thing over and over again. You know, it's just, it's just that kind of song. Be a boy or a man. Play hard though. If you're gonna if you're gonna play, play hard. If you're gonna play, play hard. Okay, now this is the part where you accidentally walk into somebody's room. Cause you know in the bathhouse they have rooms and lockers, and you're like, you know, you don't mean like you're just opening doors, seeing like you know whatever's going on. But you accidentally walk in on a saggy booty white man, topping an Asian bottom, in a sling. Now this is the part where you see him pumping really fast. And the booty cheeks are sucked in for dear life. Cause he's pumping, he's, he's pumping with all his might and all his six inches. Right here. Ah. Ah. Did y'all see that? Y'all smell it? See, I told you. Anyway, that was <laughs> Killer Instinct, Orchid's theme song. And that's been Jamming with Pierre. Now onto the show. Jamming with Pierre. Now that turns this intro is serious. I, I forgot Mayhem was on there. <laughs> I really did. For your country. Her doing that scream, but somehow she, she still managed to look pretty doing it. That's talent. Marina Sub Yeah, you can tell this show has this this episode doesn't have much going on because they're making this intro really long for no reason. Thank you for the root cap, but come on. Is that what he does when he's coming? Cause I like it. Well, so far the show's not giving me anything to mention. <laughs> they're just, you know, they're doing what queens do. In a lip sync smackdown. They're having a lip sync smackdown and they Michelle stand like she got a fart. Back my this is kind of nice. I, I feel like she. I, I feel like I've seen her. Like this is this is giving me her glove outfit that she made before, but it's different. Also, her crumpus thing. But I think she's her face looks like a snatch though. I'll rent this look. I'll rent it. Castilla Mancha. Hola. Which why why, why I forgot Arancha was here. <laughs> was on the show too. I'm actually gonna buy this for her. I think somebody did her makeup. I'll buy this for her. Jumpers blonde. Oh, Jumpers can walk in like a dude. I like the dress. I'm gonna buy the dress. Um, her in it, uh, uh, but I'm gonna buy the dress. Kata Minaj. Hello. I don't like the hair. Like literally, like instead of it looking like one whole piece. I know, like, you know, like when I did my, um, so, you know, when I did my Monster High look for Honey Swamp, I had two wigs together to make it full. This, but you can tell, this little bit's like, just one on one side, one on one side. <laughs> as far as the outfit, I like parts of it. Be Kendall. Why is she so awkward? <laughs> she ran. She ran so fast. I guess I like the hair. Theresa May. Bring back. My I don't know if I like. I'm getting like 
old Latin auntie who thinks she's still hip? <laughs> I, think, I think it's the hair. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to pass on it. Someone said, is the theme plastic bags? Like, that's what it's giving like, like, her and mayhem. Here comes the dr Scarlett's hair looks nice, but it, something about the way she did her face, it, it almost makes her look hard. I don't know if it's too contour, if it's too color, but like it kind of, I've seen her look softer before. Um, the dress, yeah, I don't think she cared. <laughs> From down under, Anaconda. This is cute, but is it like a finale kind of like moment? Maybe she has something else planned after this, but it's cute. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna rent it. Ow. I'm gonna buy this. Oh, those are actually pants through those harem pants. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, that is gore. Girl, Marina, you must have eight baby daddies, seven sugar daddies, because how are you affording these kind of dresses? That is gore. I, I, I have never seen shoulders like that. I don't know if it still tops her fish look thing she had, but this is gore just buying it. Well, there goes Tia. <laughs> it's just funny. It's like after after seeing Marina and then seeing her, it's like, uh, <laughs> uh something about it's giving me Cinderella, but then, uh, I, I don't know. It's crazy because the week before, Shocker Earth meant nothing to you. Yeah. Scarlet came to fight. I mean, at least it's somewhat interesting. Oh, my goodness. And that I was the chosen one, we have better. Oh. <laughs> Save me. I'm the veteran here. She has not been able to show the... Come on, veteran, but never stay on the show long. <laughs> well, unless she means, like, outside of, of, of Drag Race. I give you for that fucking wig on those white boots that you are <laughs> Like, what kind of moment? <laughs> Girl. Pixie fuck Tia, and then Tia fuck Jumbers. And that's <laughs> the end of the Wait, Tia dated Pixie? Why am I single? <laughs> now someone said Timon and Pumbaa. Talking about, trick, talking about Pixie and um, Tia. <laughs> like, Tia means stroke in Dutch. Wish you had one when you charged my life. Oh, well. I walked in here, it felt like I belonged here. In other words, I walked in and I saw the cast and I said, yeah, I got it in the bag. But the only Rocky Road I saw was Tia's makeup, so... Ah! Oh, <laughs> see? Well, back to you, though, didn't I? <laughs> Child. Even Rue said, uh-uh, I am not doing this finale. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Michelle, you got it. Yeah, let me start cleaning up. Let me guess who will be Miss Congeniality. Well, Tarantia or somehow Gothy. Arancha or Gothy. Somehow. Or Chorizo. Out of three. Arancha Castillo. I knew it. It said, child, let's give her something. <laughs> I love you all so much. Aww. She does seem really sweet, though, so. But she wasn't, I don't think she was there long enough for, for that, but she is cute. Come on, awkward clapping. <laughs> this is kind of cute. I don't know if I like, if I like the, the lime green boots, but this is giving me when, um, was it season four? That champion video they had. <laughs> That's what it's giving me, like, meets Tinkerbell. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the shoes kind of messed it up for me. I'm, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Yeah, cause like, yeah, sorry, like the outfit kind of looks a little classy, but then the shoes make it look hook hooker. <laughs> I don't get Q, I get drop dead sickening. No. From the USA, Mayhem. They are really making us watch these girls again. So, okay, so those, those are their reunion outfits, okay. I'm buying this. This is everything. This, she looks sickening here. This is everything. Uh. Castilla, La Mancha. I'm going to rent this for, rent this for Arancha. I wouldn't wear it, but it's something kind of cute about it. It's cute for her. I want to rent it. <laughs> Back again. Uh, couldn't get rid uh, it's giving me Cruella. I'm guessing that's what she, they were inspired by, but I don't like it though. I'm gonna pass on this. Drag Slayer Princess. This isn't like a killer. Now her face looks sickening. Who who did this bone? Didn't like a couple of queens do this kind of bone look on their seasons? Not like this, but like they kind of had this bone look. I think a query was one of them. I'm going to. I'm not gonna quite buy it, but I am gonna rent it. I, I'll rent it twice. I love the face, though. <laughs> I'm back. Well, she's still walking like she don't care. Um, and I don't care for this outfit. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, I guess it's supposed to look unfinished. Hmm. I'm gonna pass on it. 
Theresa May. She's well read. I think she's getting ready to say inspired by Lydia from Beetlejuice. Um, but I'm gonna rent this. I'm gonna rent this. Fired by Lydia. Okay, see. <laughs> Are eating it up. There... That wig is nice, but I don't like it on her. <laughs> What's bigger? What's underneath? Oh, not, not when she said. I mean, I was thinking about it and say it, but she said, "Was well, underneath is bigger." Somebody said, "Her belly." <laughs> Babe, Scarlet Envy. She needs. No, I love the hair because the hair is giving me very much like some '80s like art thing. You know how if they have the art thing of like it's like all white and then the hair will be color black and then like, it probably have blue or yellow like on the outfit and then a red lip. Anyway, I can't explain what it, but uh, it's what it's giving me. But the outfit, though, no. This hair deserves a better outfit. A lot of chaos and color and movement. Yeah, I don't like this. I think it's a tie-dye thing going on. I don't care for it that much. That, not that much. Ron <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get it. Getting centipede. I'm going to put it on layaway and give myself time to think about it before I make my purchase. Summers, tides come in. <laughs> Finally, I don't have to buy one of her dresses because I'm not buying this. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. No, maybe if all of it was just black, but I don't get the blue. But look, she could. I can afford one thing not to buy from her because she's been killing it. So this one I don't care for. Senorita, it's a hole in one. I mean. It's not b too bad, but I just personally wouldn't wear it because of the color choice of it. Uh, I'm going to pass on it. I'm going to pass on it, but I, I can see why somebody might like it. That's my Vanna White. Marina Summers, the will has spoken. Well, Marina has to go first with somebody. Have one last dance with my samba partner. Oh, fuck it. She chose Hannah. Tonight's second. I actually think Tia looks pretty there. Like I actually like, I love that hair on her. Like she looks, it, it looks fresh on her. I don't know the song, but it's already giving me like Spice Girl tease. It kind of sounds like I'm giving you na na. Even though it's not a live version, Hannah secretly, I think she's gonna win this because like it seems more realistic. Does Marina know the words? <laughs> I mean, that was kind of cool, but why? Hannah is killing it. <laughs> she is feeling herself. I live. Yeah, Hannah won that. Same rule. Me laughing to myself so I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe they actually didn't try to rig it. Wow, Marina, you did all that and at the end, wow, wow. Well, I mean, Hannah did kill that lip sync, so congrats. Ruin do Marina. She must have power. She made Rue do it. <laughs> Let's find Don't quote me, but I think they have on cover-ups. Love. Thank you, darling. Not booty love. Oh Lord. Wait, now she took that from tweet. I thought that was um. Oh, she wait. Did she did tweet sell that song to her, or 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 does she have this song first? Yeah, because definitely I can tell you I like tweet's version better. Are you ready? Said I'm ready to party. Yeah, yeah. Grab your coat and get your keys. Oh Lord. Well, she's gonna win this one. Child. Yeah, I'm definitely skipping that category on X2. Tea coffee. Well duh. See, it's teaching everybody out there that you don't have to take lip sync serious. You can go in there and act the fool and RuPaul will reward you. No, you're not sorry. Oh. <laughs> Blue's still big headed. <laughs> no, I actually have to tell Blue thank you again because like she actually sent me one of her um her makeup um kit 
really pretty stuff in there. So I was thinking, but yeah, this is a cute outfit. I mean, it's cute. I'll rent it. Of 50,000 pounds. Yeah, she mad. <laughs> Cause I don't think they have money on their season or something. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> they planned that, I can't. I think that's the most serious I've seen Tia be there in lip sync. And it's actually pretty good right now at this part. <laughs> not, not one of the other girls lip syncing. Girl, you lost it down. <laughs> she cheated. She had help. Damn, damn, he's happy. He is happy. Oh my goodness. Oh, like a happy little pig. Coffee. Somehow Tia won the whole thing. <laughs> Congrats. But I mean that in that lip sync she was better than her though. She was. In that lip sync. In that lip sync. Someone said I called a weeks ago. I don't even remember. I probably did. Okay. Well, Tia, congrats, girl. Seriously, congrats. I'm like, I'm I am shook, but I'm like. And that lip sync, you did deserve it. And then after that lip sync, guys, I am taking my ass to bed. Woo! Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Thank y'all for getting through this season with me. It was kind of tough to get through. I'm so glad it's over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh on to the next, on to the next. I will see y'all for the season 16 video. Make sure y'all watch my Beyonce thing until then. I'm not sure what I'm posting first, to be honest, but yeah, anyway, because I still put out content. Y'all don't have to just stop here like y'all, like some of y'all do. You know, go support the other content as well. And as always, remember to stay beat, to stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi, bye-bye. That's all, folks. And...